Hello, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm an ICT teacher at Lodge Park Technology College in Corby, Northamptonshire, England. Now what I'm going to show you today is how you can use your gestures from the previous lesson and how you can get it to update text boxes. Now a lot of people are just getting to grips with how the Connect SDK works but I still think it's useful if you under understand a little bit about how to add in existing things which are included with C Sharp. So I'm going to show you how to add in a text box and how to control it. So if I just go into my Connect application 3 and open up the application in Visual Studio or Visual Studio Express depending on what you're using. Now at the moment if I use my drop down menu and go into my code So this will open. So I'm going to open that. If you scroll down, you'll see what you did in your last lesson. I simply just commented it out by putting two forward slashes in it. Now, what I want to do is add in a text box. So if I go to my design, so I'm going to click on main window. I'm going to open that up. Now what we have here is just our ellipses. Now you have your toolbox on the left hand side and you can add in lots of different features here. And the thing I'm going to show you how to do today is how to add a simple text block. So if I click on this text block and click in here and drag, I'm going to empty it so if I go down to my properties down here where it says text I'm going to change it waiting for instructions okay and the name of it if you just click on it again you can change the name of it up here so I'm going to call this txt instructions so it's the instructions it's waiting for it. now at the moment if I was to run that and put my hands above my head it wouldn't do anything I'll just show you so I've pressed play <coughs> I've got my hands and if I put my hand above my head it doesn't do anything so I'm gonna go along to stop then I'm going to go back to my code and this is a simple thing you can do I'm going to do txt instructions because this is what I've called it dot text equals hand above head and you can do the same down here txt instructions dot text equals hand below waist and then here txt instructions dot text equals hand to the right now if you've noticed you might get these little error messages now this is just because you haven't finished off your code so watch all you do is include your semicolons and that will finish it off so now what you should see when you press play is a text box that updates based on what you're doing so if I run that hand to the right it's already updated hand above head hand to the right hand below waist hand to the right hand above head alright so that's constantly updating so you can have it doing lots of different things now if I stop that
all I need to do is add another else statement in. So else if well actually you won't need anything there so just type in else so if it's nothing else all you can do is have waiting for instructions again so what this is saying if your hand is above your head then show this text here if your hand is below your waist show this text here if your hand is to the right show that your hand is to the right otherwise just tell the program that you're waiting for instructions so if I play that now Move it to the right. Hands above head. Hands below the waist. And you can see that's just changing based on what I say. Now I hope that simple tutorial will be useful for someone. Um, and thank you for watching. In my next video, I'll see what other tools I can show you how to use. So, if you can imagine, I've shown you how to use the text box. Sorry, the text block. And in my next tutorial, I may show you how to change your image to update based on what you're doing. Thank you for watching. I hope that's been useful.